I'm going to show you how to use Smooth Infusions Naturally Straight to get from point A to point B. You will need a water bottle, a blow dryer with a concentrator, a thermal mat for your titanium flat iron. It's impossible to blow dry curly hair while it's dry, so you need to spray your hair liberally with water and make sure it's completely absorbed into your hair before continuing. On to Smooth Infusions Naturally Straight. Take your index finger and your thumb and you're going to wrap your fingers around your hair to determine how much product you're going to need to completely cover every strand of hair. As you can see, I need about a quarter dollar size. Turn the product sideways so you don't build up a mountain of product and end up oversaturating your hair. I've got a quarter dollar size of product. I'm going to emulsify that into my hands and work that through my hair from the front and the back and I'm going to rub it through the top. The crown is where it's most curly and coily so I'm going to get a little bit more product and I'm going to specifically concentrate that on the crown of my head. I'm going to rub my hands forward so that the product can get in between the kinks and the curls and the coils in my hair. You know when the product is completely absorbed into your hair when you can't see it anymore. I can still see white around the perimeter and all through my hair so I'm just going to keep working it through until it disappears. My hair isn't that long so I'm going to take a single crock clip and I'm going to section my hair. You will never get straight lines when trying to work with naturally curly hair so it's best to just use the edge of it to create a path and separate the hair from the root just so you can get control. You're not looking for straight lines, just clumps that you can control. I'm blow drying downward so that I can smooth the cuticle. You never want to pull or tug if there is resistance, which there will be. You want to work with the curl. As the hair starts to dry, it will become more straight. Smooth Infusions Naturally Straight has plant fibers that fills the cuticles of your hair so that it locks into place and it straightens out naturally. It comes prepared with humidity resistance and heat protectant because we will be using a lot of heat to straighten out my style. So I'm continuing to work with my hair pattern and blow drying downward just to smooth the cuticle to gain more control as the hair starts to straighten out. I'm working with my hair section by section instead of trying to blow dry one massive afro all at once. The smaller your sections, the more control you get, the less frustrated you'll get with your hair. I like my hair with a lot of movement, which is why I no longer use the pick with the blow dryer. I've noticed that the hair, when you use that method, it just gets straight and lifeless. When you use a paddle brush or a dim and brush and a concentrator and a blow dryer, the hair has a lot more movement, more bounce, more body, just because I have a kinky curly textured hair and I'm seeking a straight style doesn't mean that I want it lifeless and still and stiff. I want movement, I want versatility, I want heat protection, and I want shine. When you're blow drying your own hair, especially with this texture, you're going to need to become a bit of an acrobat just to maneuver around your head. I mean, you can't see the backside of your head, but you can use the wide powder brush to feel your way around your curls to work with every angle of your head just to ensure all of your curls get blow dried straight to prepare for flat ironing. Now that my hair is completely dry, I'm going to use my paddle brush and I'm going to brush my hair in the direction that I want it to lay for the flat ironing. So the process that I'm going to do isn't the final styling or finishing of the hair. It's basically a method called soaking. I'm going to flat iron my entire head just so that my hair is more versatile and I can manipulate it into the style that I want it to be. This is my Babyless Titanium Flat Iron. I swear by these irons for hair textures like mine. I have it set at the maximum of 450 degrees. I prefer high heat when straightening my hair because using an iron on a lower setting that does not get hot enough to straighten my hair will cause me to use more passes to get my hair straight. More passes over your hair with a flat iron equals more heat. More heat equals more damage. 
As you can see, I have prior damage to my hairline already from using chemical relaxers in the past, and I really want to preserve the hair that I have left while I'm regenerating new hair. All babyless irons smoke. That is not your hair burning. That is the product sealing into your hair. When the smoke is white, it's just product sealing into your hair. When it's black smoke, then you worry. As you can see, the smoke is white. My hair is not breaking off. It has a brilliant merit shine just from the flat iron and the product alone. I'm keeping my sections small and controlled. At this moment, I'm having a hard time keeping my hands off of my hair. The shine is simply amazing and it feels as if I have a chemical relaxer. As you can see, I only really need one pass of my Babyless Titanium Flat Iron. I used to, just for good measure, if you are using more than one to two passes with your flat iron, you need to switch flat ironings because you are damaging your hair. I personally do not recommend ceramic flat ironings for hair that has my texture to it because the irons do not get hot enough. As I said before, if you're passing your flat ironing through your hair three and four and five times, you're burning your hair over and over again. It's time to upgrade to a higher temperature flat iron so that you can get through your styling quickly, number one, and number two, stop damaging your hair. So I've made a nice little picture in picture just in case you're having difficulty reaching certain parts of your hair. You can see how I maneuver my body all the way around to reach different areas of my head. It takes a lot of bending, a lot of twisting, a lot of movement, but there really isn't an excuse for someone to say, I can't flat iron my own head. Well, I'm doing my entire head. And most likely, my natural hair texture is a lot more curlier than yours. Just maybe. So all the way around your head, it's about creating a section and then a smaller subsection to have more control over your hair. Doing your own hair is all about control. If you don't have control, you're frustrated. And if you're frustrated, you're unhappy and you hate your hair. There's no reason for that. All you need to do is gain control over every aspect of your styling and you'll be fine. So the very first flat ironing was all about making my hair smooth all the way around. Now that my hair is smooth all the way around, I'm going to brush it completely down into the style that I want. And once my hair is brushed downwards using my paddle brush, I'm going to section off the pieces of hair that I want and I'm going to seal and smooth them together just so that my look is more polished. Now after all of that polishing, I'm going to mess my hair up. I like that it has body. I love that it has movement. I love that it's not just laying, hanging, stick straight. This is Aveda's Dry Remedy Oil. I recommend this after all heat styling. It is a pure hydration for your hair. It replenishes moisture without making your hair feel greasy, heavy, like you have product in your hair. There's no silicone in this product. It's made from a pure oil from Brazil, and your hair absorbs it, and the shine is incredible. And that's how I went from naturally curly to naturally straight. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.